I love widgets on my iPad, and as much as I like a clean home screen, there are times when I load up on useful widgets that make the iPad a little more handy than usual. What are widgets and how do you use them? That's what this video is all about. Hi. My name is Rich and welcome to the channel. Apple states that widgets are a way to view current information at a glance, like today's headlines or weather or reminders or battery levels and even more. You can view widgets in today view and add them to your home screen to keep this information at your fingertips. And you know one of the best things I like is that you can interact with widgets on the home screen without opening the app. In today's video I'm going to show you how to add a widget to your home screen and of course how to delete it how to customize a widget, how to create a widget stack and then customize the stack, how to add a smart stack if you just don't want to create your own widget stack, how to arrange the widgets on your home screen, how to add widgets to the today view, and if you stick around to the end, I'll show you how to add widgets to your lock screen. This isn't too complicated. Stick with me. Okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing I want to show you is just how to add a widget to your home screen. I typically keep my home screen clean like this, but every now and then I like to just load it up with widgets because they're just so handy. So to add a widget, you simply press and hold on your home screen. You'll see all your apps in your dock jiggling, and if you've got any apps on your screen, they'll be jiggling too. You tap the plus in the upper left-hand corner, and now you've got a list of widgets that you have here and all of the apps you can get them from. So I'm going to just create, let's say, um, we'll add a clock and click Add Widget. And now when you tap, that's it. You've got your widget on your home screen with the time. And now if you want to delete that widget, maybe you put something on there you no longer want, you just again tap and hold, and you tap the little minus sign in the upper left corner of the widget, and it'll say remove clock widget and you'll do it. And that's it. That's as simple as that. That's how you add and delete a widget. So the next thing I want to talk to you about is how to customize a widget. So if you tap and hold, you hit the plus again, and we're going to go back, we're going to tap on clock. You could tap clock right there and that clock would go, but if you go over here you get some more choices. So here you have a digital clock, just a regular clock, a different version of that, clock one, two, and three. And then you have City Digital, and if you notice it says CUP right there, that's for Cupertino. And then you got City One, a different shape, City Two, City Three, and then you have a world clock where you can put different uh, time zones uh, on multiple clocks. But let's just choose this original clock we have. We're going to click Add Widget. Well, I'm not in California. I'm on the East Coast. So how you customize this is you just tap and hold the widget, and then you get a choice to edit the widget. So I'm going to tap Edit, and now I'm going to put in my time zone, which is New York. And I'm going to tap New York, USA, and then I'm just going to tap on the screen and now the correct time comes up for my time zone. And there are a lot of different widgets that you can customize that way to get just what you want. And I'll show you a little more about that in a minute. Now I want to show you how to create a widget stack. So I'm going to tap and hold. And I'm going to hit the plus. And I'm going to add contacts. I'm going to click add widget. I'm going to tap again and I'm going to go to calendar and I'm going to just add the calendar and I'm going to go again and I'm going to do mail. Nope, don't have the right size for that. I'll do music. And now I've got four widgets here. But if I want to create a widget stack, again, I'll tap and hold, everything's jiggling. Now I'm just going to move that on top of that. I'm going to move that one up there, and that one on top of there, and then I'll tap. And now I've got a stack of widgets, and to view each widget, 
just slide your finger over them and you can get it just like that and if you want to open the app that the widgets on you can just tap it and it'll take you straight to the it'll take you straight to the uh, application if I tap on calendar it takes me straight to my calendar just like that now one of the things that Apple does is when you create a widget stack, you have to edit the stack. So if I tap and hold, I'm going to click on Edit Stack. And if you'll notice, it's got Smart Rotate and Widget Suggestions. So based upon how you use your iPad, it will try to figure out what widget to show at what time of the day. And it'll also suggest widgets, and it'll put other things in there. And if you like that, that's fine. But for me, I typically turn those off, because what'll happen, I've already got my four widgets that I want, and then all of a sudden it'll put some strange widget in there that I'm not interested in, and now i got to delete the widget and that kind of stuff. So uh, I typically turn those off. So if you tap again, now you've edited the stack. You've got your stack there, but... Maybe you want to delete one of the apps in the stack. You can just tap and hold, click on Edit Stack, and you can slide through till you get to the one you no longer want. And let's take the clock out and you hit the minus right there, and we're going to remove that widget from the stack. And now we've got three widgets instead of four. And that's how you create a custom widget stack. Now is a great time to show you my portable power bank of choice, Xcool's Ultra Thin Wireless Charging Bank. It's a 5,000 milliamp MagSafe charger that's compact and will charge your iPhone in a snap. There are two things that stand out about this charger that makes it my go-to portable solution, the thinness and the powerful magnet. This thing is really thin. In fact, it's about as thin as my iPhone 15 Pro. And when you snap it on the back of your iPhone, you can immediately tell that it's not going to fall off like so many other thick chargers. And it's that thinness that allows you to slide it in your pocket comfortably and let it charge your iPhone when you're on the go. Oh yeah, if you have AirPods with a MagSafe charging case, you can charge them too. How handy is that? This is a perfect portable charger to take with you when traveling. It also comes with a little kickstand you can attach to the power bank that'll let you prop your phone up while charging. So that means you can easily watch YouTube videos while the power bank is doing its job. And this power bank is compatible with more than just the iPhone. If you have a Samsung phone, this is for you too. The Xcool power bank comes with a magnetic ring you can attach to your phone and you're good to go. If you're looking for an ultra portable compact power bank, then check out Xcool's ultra thin wireless charging bank in the links below. This is one of those can't miss products. Thanks to our friends at Xcool for their continued support of this channel. And now back to the video. Apple makes it easy though if you want to just create what they call a smart stack where you don't have to go and add your own widgets. They'll just do it for you. So if you tap and hold and you hit the plus up in the upper left corner, you can uh, see these widgets here and, and you can see smart stack right here and if you tap on smart stack you've got a choice of the size maybe you want a big one like this I'll add this one I'm gonna click add widget and now it's created its own smart stack for you it's got my notes news weather photos reminders, notes, and contacts. And you can, again, edit this stack. You can edit stack. You can turn off Smart Rotate and widget suggestions if you want. And again, you can go through and just remove any one of these that you don't want in there. And that is a Smart Stack. Hey, just a brief break to say that if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'd love to know how you're using widgets. And if you find this kind of content helpful, please consider subscribing. Okay, back to the video. Next thing I want to show you is how to arrange widgets. So we're going to add a couple of more widgets. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go down to, let's say, I want some notes on there. I want a folder, so... I'll put that one there and I want maybe mail I'll add that one 
and I'm going to add weather because I have to know the weather. I'll add that one. And I think I'll add reminders on here as well. And I'll add this size and I'll click reminders. Now I've got them there, but I don't really like how it's arranged. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tap and hold and I'm going to remove this stack because I don't need that anymore, so I'm going to get rid of that. Then I just take and drag over the stack in the direction that I want it to go. And if I put my and you can slide these around in any order that you want them to be. Maybe you want the weather right there or maybe you want the weather up at the top and you want your mail up there and then you want your reminders and then you want your notes and you can simply tap and drag around and that's how you customize and organize your widgets on the screen. Of course you can customize each of these widgets Again, if you tap and hold the widget, go to Edit Widget, I'm going to choose the list I want. I think I want um, my Maintenance Man list. Now I've got a list of chores that are on there. And if you remember, I mentioned that you can interact with these widgets without opening the app. So you could tap on it and open up that list in your reminders, or you could just tap the task, Clean Under Deck, like that and it's done. And that's how you interact with the widget. Of course you can edit uh, all of these widgets to get the proper things that you want by simply tapping and going edit widget. Maybe I don't want that folder. Maybe I want some other folder. Um, maybe podcasts. And I leave that up. I have no notes in my podcast folder. And that's how you arrange widgets on your home screen to get them to look just the way you want them to look. Next thing I want to show you is how to add widgets to the Today View. This has been around for a while, um, and if you slide over, here is the Today View. And I'm going to edit this, and I'm going to remove these widgets like this. So now I have all the widgets on the home screen I want, but maybe I don't want these widgets on my home screen. I just want a clean home screen. I can tap and remove each one of these. Or maybe I like all of it and I, want, I don't want to cover up widgets down here. I just want a few more widgets. You can go over to Today View by sliding to the right and you'll see a little edit come up, little edit button pop up. And if you tap on that, you can hit the plus and you can add a clock. We'll add the widget. You can add plus again, and we'll add the weather, and we're going to add another one. I'm going to add my calendar, except this one's going to be a little bit bigger. And now I've got my clock, weather, and calendar all in the today view. Now you can't add widgets over here. They're just in a column in Today View. So as you add more and more widgets, you have to scroll through. So it's not quite as handy as having them on your home screen. You can put them in the Today View if you don't want to see them on your home screen. And that's how you add widgets to Today View. Pretty handy. Last thing I want to show you is just how to add widgets to your lock screen. So here we are on the home screen. The lock screen is what you see when you first pick up your iPad. And if I just slide down like this, you can get to the lock screen. I'm going to get rid of these notifications. And I'm going to tap and hold. And if, when I do that, I can customize that lock screen. So I'm going to tap customize. And it's going to ask me, do I want to customize the lock screen or the home screen? I want to customize the lock screen. So if I tap on that. Here I can add widgets. So I'm going to tap on add widget and again I'm going to choose weather because I like to see that. Uh, maybe the forecast will go up there 
and I'm going to add stocks. I'd like to see what the Dow is doing. And I'm going to add my calendar so that I know what events I have. And I'm going to go back to reminders. And I'm going to add the reminders. And then I'm going to just tap the X right there. And now when I pick up my iPad and I've got the lock screen open like this, I've got weather I can see, I've got stocks that I can see, I've got any events on my calendar will be listed here and any reminders that I have. And when you've got it set over here like that, you can just tap done. And now you've got that as your lock screen. And that's really handy. So if you're at your home screen and then you turn your thing off and you turn it back on, there's your lock screen and you can see the widgets on the lock screen. I just find that really, really helpful. So if you made it this far, then you've got a good idea about just how much widgets improve the iPad user experience. I'll be making another video on my favorite widgets soon. It'll be worth a few minutes of your time. Okay, that's it for today's tutorial as always. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.